Gregory S. Schneider and Laura Vizella last updated 15 28, July 17, 2018 trailer, Who is America? Sasha Baron Cohen offers his take on America's patriotism. One of the U.S. state of Virginia's top gun rights lobbyists drew criticism from his own supporters after he was duped into promoting guns for children as young as three and hawking toys such as a teddy bear with a concealed pistol on a television show. Philip Van Cleef, president of the Virginia Citizens Defense League BCDL, was among numerous public figures pranked by Sasha Baron Cohen on his new series Who is America, the creator of Borat and Ali G. Characters who conduct outrageous interviews with unsuspecting politicians, burned up social media on with footage of current and former members of Congress speaking enthusiastically of arming children. But no one went further than Van Cleve, who appeared with Cohen, who was disguised as an Israeli security expert named Colonel Aaron Morad, in a Nickelodeon-style segment called Kindergartians. Philip Van Cleve, president of the Virginia Citizens Defense League, explains the use of puppy pistol to children in a satirical video orchestrated by Sasha Baron Cohen. Holding a puppy pistol toy, which looks like a pistol inserted into a stuffed dog, Van Cleve explains how to load an ammunition clip, to feed him, take his lunchbox and push it into his tummy like this. Just remember to point puppy pistol's mouth right at the middle of the bad man. He has a big fat tummy, point at that, read more, asterisk Sasha Baron Cohen's Who is America, proves satire is not that asterisk Palin claims Sasha Baron Cohen duped her for his Who is America, show asterisk why Sasha Baron Cohen's video has fans wondering if the Trump project is coming asterisk no more Bruno, Borat analogy for Sasha Baron Cohen asterisk Sasha Baron Cohen and Isla Fisher give one million dollars to charity for Syrian refugees that's one of several, Gunimals toys that Van Cleve and the stone-faced Cohen tout for youngsters, Along with Gunny Rabbit, he's ready to put the naughty man on a very long time out, Van Cleef says, and, Dino Gun, which, Van Cleef warns, eats and spits his candy really, really fast. U.S. gun rights lobbyist Philip Van Cleef is slammed by his own supporters after he was duped into promoting guns for tots by Sasha Baron Cohen's character, an Israeli security expert named Colonel Aaron Morad, right. Van Cleef holds a pink teddy bear called BFF for Best Firearm Forever, which contains a handgun with a string attached to the trigger. Pull the string on a bad guy, Van Cleef says. Make bang bang, Van Cleef and the VCDL did not respond to requests for comment on Monday. Formed in 1994, the organization has donated nearly $100,000, $147,000, to Virginia candidates over the past 15 years. It holds an annual rally during that General Assembly, State Parliament, sessions. Van Cleve led the event this year to promote concealed carry laws and testified against a proposed ban on bump stocks, devices that make guns fire faster. On the VCDL Facebook page, the group posted a long letter that it said Van Cleef had distributed in February, immediately after the segment was filmed. The letter says that Van Cleef realized something wasn't right but that producers of the film had used luxury accommodations, limousine service, and generous monetary allowance. To reel me in and to try to make me feel beholden to them, Sasha Baron Cohen in character on his TV show Who is America? Once on the set, they use psychological manipulation, as well as lies and tricks to put their victim into comedic situations that subject them to public shame, he wrote, according to the letter on VCDL Facebook page. He said he began to get suspicious only five minutes into the interview when the Israeli host insisted that schools in that country trained children as young as age 40 use guns. Although Van Cleef said in the letter that he balked at that, the video shows him appearing to sympathize with the suggestion. At one point, Van Cleef complains that Virginia's General Assembly considered a bill this year that would have prohibited children as young as four from handling guns. When Cohen's character expresses indignation, Van Cleef reassures him, we killed the bill. In the letter, Van Cleef says he wants to sound the alarm to prevent others from being duped by the mysterious filmmakers.
while it could just be a comedy which would only play in Israel. He said in the letter, it could also be a stunt by filmmaker Michael Moore, or even worse, a Sasha Baron Cohen ESQ, Borat type of shock comedy meant to be devastatingly embarrassing. After the first episode of Who is America, made the rounds online Sunday and then aired on Showtime, Virginia politicians were quick to distance themselves from Van Cleve, I grew up in and now represent a community where people care a lot about their gun rights, but the idea of arming children is ridiculous, said State Senator Jill Vogel, who received $16,000 last year from Van Cleve's group in her unsuccessful bid for a lieutenant governor. What a buffoon, said State Senator Bryce Reeves, who received $5,000 from the group for his 2015 Senate bid. Apparently common sense wasn't issued with his concealed carry permit. Come on, dude, really, one of the legislature's staunchest supporters of gun rights, Reeves said the episode will hurt Van Cleve's image but won't discredit the VCDL, hunting traditions and the gun lobby loom large in Virginia, which boasts both rural expanses and the National Rifle Association headquarters. Gun control advocates have been unable to get much traction in Richmond, even in the wake of a massacre in 2007 that left 32 victims dead at Virginia Tech. Guns are allowed inside the state capitol and even in the gallery of the House of Delegates. On the VCDL Facebook page, the Van Cleve letter had drawn scores of scathing comments from followers, how can one be so naive? This was the most ridiculous thing I've seen in a long time, and leadership fell for it hook line. A few came to Van Cleve's defense. The point of this attack is to humiliate and shame the Second Amendment supporters, one follower wrote. It's a massive confidence scheme. It's fraudulent and unethical. Stop feeling embarrassed. One political figure familiar with both the Virginia Citizens Defense League and the use of publicity stunts dismissed the whole nonsensical event. Corey Stewart, the Republican nominee trying to unseat Senator Tim Kaine, put the blame on Sasha Baron Cohen, I think it's just disgusting and we shouldn't pay him, Cohen, any attention, said Stewart, who received $11,000 from VCDL last year in his failed bid for the GOP nomination for governor. He said he had not watched the video. Who is America, is available on Soho at 10.30pm, Mondays from July 16th and also available same day on Neon. The Washington